Josh Lawley and his offense able to take a 4-2 lead to begin the top of the fourth inning. I'm Mike Radomski at T.R. Hughes Ballpark. It was a pitcher's duel over the first few innings as both offenses got a few men on. They were unable to push across the runs. That's when Evansville got an RBI single from Greg Alexander and Vinny Scarduzio for the 2-0 lead in the last frame. But then it was the River City Rascals who tied it up and took the lead on the two-run home run by Josh Banda. This inning starts off with a strike thrown to John Waltonberry. It's down by the knees, 0-1. Moves the bat back and forth as it's a broken bat grounder to first. Picked up by Banda. He'll just take a step over to the base for the first out. If you do look down towards that bat, there's a big splinter on it right above where the hands would normally be placed. The small little bat boy brings it over to the dugout. Rob Watson right there to shake his head up and down at it, and that will be the end of the bat for John Waltonberry. So before Jeff Hansen sees the pitch, they're going to throw one to the outer side and get a brand new baseball for the right-handed pitcher. A wind-up, a throw, and it's a fastball down and away to Hansen, one ball and no strikes. He's already working on his off-season plans. He has set up the apartment that he will be living in back in Connecticut. Down and away, a slider that misses, two balls and no strikes. And that's where he's from and has started his life during college. He went to Sacred Heart University, which is a school located in Fairfield, Connecticut. He has an open stance, a little bend at the knee. That moving closer towards the elbows as he takes the pitch, called strike, low and away, middle of the thigh, two and one. He is a business major from both Marist and Sacred Heart, so he's looking to do something along those lines during the offseason. As the pitch comes in, it gets him right on the front wrist. Now he did start the swing but was able to hold it up, and if he did happen to go around with the swing, it would have resulted in a strike, not with him reaching base. But because the bat stayed back by the shoulder instead of coming around the zone, it will just be a hit by a pitch, but a painful way for Jeff Hansen to find himself on with one man out. Now it looked like the pitch may have gotten away from Lowy as it came closer and closer in towards the lower portion of the arm, and it may have got him either right atop the wrist or closer towards the knuckles. It's tough to speculate from up here in the press box. Fastball down and in, one ball and no strikes to Billy Killian. Hansen still staring down towards that wrist. It's a 4-2 to two Rascals lead in the top of the fourth inning. A home run by Killian would be able to tie up the score. Runner not moving as the ball is hit up the middle towards short. Burke has it, steps by the base, throws on the first and has the out. So the double play moves the team to the bottom of the fourth inning where the Rascals will look to add to their 4-2 to two lead. You're listening to the last radio broadcast of the season for the Evansville Otters on WUEV 91.5 FM.